Hi friends. Welcome to my next episode. Today we are going to make methya no achar the parsi way. The methya pickle from mangoes. This mangoes last time I was in Frankfurt before the close down and in a Bengali shop I saw the mangoes raw mangoes they were so tempting that i said i must take this and make some pickle out of it so over here we have one and a half kilos of mangoes best thing to do is to use rajapuri or levda mango cut them into small pieces if you are in Bombay, otherwise you can even take the South American mangoes which you get or the small Indian mangoes which you get in Indian shops. But see to it that they are nice and hard and not ripened. Cut them into such small pieces. Now for the masala for it, I have taken 200 ml of sarsoka tail that is mustard oil I heated it up in a pan cooled it and kept it ready salt 100 grams sugar 100 grams 2 tablespoons of haldi 1 tablespoon of esophotida here this is Kashmiri chilies and this is the normal our diggy milch i like to use diggy milch because it tastes fantastic kashmiri chilies is a hundred grams because we don't eat very spicy if you like very spicy go ahead and add chili powder a little more and the normal chili powder is 120 grams over here we have one big spoon of uh, variali or fenchel seeds, one big tablespoon of black peppercorns. These are methina dana, and these are brown rhina dana, which are brown mustard seeds actually speaking if possible you can get split brown mustard seeds without the skin and split fenugreek split without the skin and they are coarse so if you get them go ahead and buy that they are called Raina Kuria for the mustard and Methina Kuria. But since we don't get it over here, we will just grind both these things little coarse in the machine grinder over here. So now <clears throat> we start by putting the fennel grease and grind it coarsely first just grind it coarsely nicely not very fine and then we put it here same thing we are supposed to do with our black mustard this also we have to grind it little costly perfect now after this we put the black pepper and the fencher or the variali inside and do the same thing so this we add over here 
here. Now, do this. We mix it first with the hands. Nicely. Oh, it smells lovely. Then, we add the chili powder to it. The, then, the Kashmiri chilies. Sugar. Salt. What we are doing now is we are preparing the masala for the pickle, mango pickle. If you are in Bombay, then it is very easy. You just go to Motilal Masala Wala Tardeo and ask him for Mithyano Sambar and you get it ready made. But if you are anywhere abroad and you want to make it yourself, this is how one goes about. Then all this you mix together nicely. You must be wondering why I didn't add esophotida to it. I will be taking a little oil in a small frying pan. The same mustard oil which I have here. Just a little of it. And heat the oil and make the bagar from this esophotida. And this whole bagar I will be adding to this mango pickle sambar what we have made. It is called acharno sambar. That's it. We take a little bit of oil from here to make a little bagar in this. Switch on to full and wait till the oil is heated up. Now when the oil is hot, we add the esophotida to it and mix it. This oil has to be about, about 2 tablespoons, not more, not less. So, it froths and comes up. That is the time when we switch off the flame and put this on the side and let it cool a little while. This has cooled down a little. Pour this bagar into it, all of it. And we will be mixing it. Actually, you can make this masala, bottle it, and keep it in a bottle or a jar, tightly close. And you can go on using it whenever and as ever you want. After mixing, all this nicely see the color this is the ready Nithyana Acharno Sambar in this we will be adding the remaining oil all of it and mix it so, we mix this nicely. I feel the oil is a little less. I still have some more heated sarsoka tail. So, I'll take another 200 ml and add to this. So that we can wrap the whole thing, all the mangoes, 
nicely in this masala. So we add this mangoes were washed, dried, and chopped. We add all these mangoes inside and with clean hands start mixing it nicely, rubbing the masala nicely into the mangoes. Now I've got the bottles here. I have washed my hands again and what we do is take this and put it in the glass bottles or the jar or whatever you have and then we shall press it a little and on the top after bottling it we'll put some sarso oil till it floats on the top. Put, try and put a little nice masala also inside. Leave a little place on the top so that we can pour in some more oil and press it down. After filling the bottles, I have taken another 200 grams of oil, heated it up and we pour, cool it first, then we pour this oil in all the bottles. And there is something called Chabavano. <laughs> what is Chabavano? I will explain it to you. It's a Parsi word. The Parsi old ladies always say the more you Chabao, the cha, Chabao means what? You press it. You press the acha like this. So that the masala please gets the oil inside. Now that we have enough of masala in it and enough of oil in it. Now, this pickle should be left at least, according to me, at least for 7 to 8 weeks in a dry place. at room temperature so that it can mature uh, your uh, mango pickle the mango Matthew ready this is the finished product so friends as you see, it is not very difficult to make Mithyan Vacha. Please go ahead and try it at home. Experiment. Instead of using mango, you can even use raw apples, the green apples. And put olives in it. Mix it and make a pickle out of it. It will taste very fine. Or Go ahead and you can take some vegetables and mix it in it and make a pickle. So experiment it yourself.
make it and enjoy it. Well, till next time, bye bye, au revoir, and off we the zen. If by any chance you feel that the oil what you have put inside is a little less, please go ahead and top it up with extra oil. But the oil has to flow two to three centimeters above the chart.